Were you ready to take the Praxis 5003 elementary math exam? Well, stick with me, and by the end of this video, I'll make sure you're totally equipped with all the information, testing strategies, and confidence you need to pass this test. Welcome to the Praxis Test Prep channel. I'm Tom, a certified teacher and test prep expert with Study.com. We're proud to officially partner with ETS, the creators of the Praxis exams, to bring you the most accurate and up-to-date information straight from the source. That means you can trust that everything we share is designed to help you succeed and mirrors what you'll experience on test day. If you're a prospective K-6 teacher getting ready for this exam, you're in the right place. I've got all the tips and strategies to help you out and an inside track on all the changes that will help you ace the test this year. Let's start with the basics. The Praxis 5003 is designed to assess your math knowledge as well as your ability to teach elementary level mathematics effectively. The exam focuses on foundational concepts that K-6 teachers need to cover in their classroom and it's broken into the following key topic areas. Numbers and operations, algebraic thinking, geometry and measurement, and statistics and probability. We'll dive into more detail for each of these topics in this video, but just know that this remains consistent from prior years. Praxis 5003 gives you 65 minutes to complete 50 questions, so time management is critical. To maximize your score, you need a solid approach to pacing and prioritization. Here's how to do that. My first strategy tip is to stick to about one minute per question on average. Use this as a general guide to keep you moving steadily through the exam. Answer easier questions quickly to save time for harder ones. Try this out by timing yourself on practice tests. Here's my second strategy tip. If you're stuck on a question, don't dwell on it. Mark it for review, skip it, and move on. This ensures you answer as many questions as possible within the time limit, and when you return later, you'll answer it more easily with a fresh perspective. Now let's talk scoring. The Praxis 5003 is scored on a scale of 100 to 200, and a passing score is generally 157. However, every state has its own score requirements, so always check your state's guidelines on praxis.ets.org. I've linked to the specific page in the description. The ETS keeps their scoring logic confidential, even from us. However, a good rule of thumb is to take your state's passing score, subtract 100, and then treat that resulting number as a percent. That means if your passing score requirement is 157, you can roughly assume that you need to get at least 57% of the questions correct in order to pass. And that brings me to my third strategy tip. There's no penalty for guessing. You can assume each question is worth roughly the same points. Watch the timer and answer as many questions as possible to maximize your score, even if it means guessing on hard questions or when time is running out. You'll also want to be familiar with the question types. The majority of questions you'll see will be standard multiple choice. Those include four answer choices and only one of them will be correct. There are a couple of other types too. These include multi-select questions where there's more than one correct answer. These usually say select all that apply. You'll also have numeric entry questions. For these, you won't be given any answer choices, but will need to solve a problem and type in your answer. Strategy tip number four, read every question carefully especially with multi-select questions. This is so you don't miss which question format you're dealing with and you know how to approach it. Some ways include eliminating obvious wrong answers or using context clues in the question or answer choices. You'll find some great videos on this channel that break down different question types and provide tips on how to tackle them. Okay, back to the exam. You are never allowed to bring in your own calculator to a practice exam. However, ETS provides an on-screen calculator for some of their exams. Good news, Praxis 5003 is one of those. You'll have an upgraded on-screen scientific calculator that handles a huge range of complex calculations. My fifth strategy tip relates to this. Practice using the updated calculator before test day. There's a free tutorial version on the ETS website so you can get familiar with it and not fumble with the tool during the exam. I provided a direct link down in the description. A few more calculator-specific tips. First, use the memory function to save results for multi-step calculations. Next, avoid rounding intermediate calculations until the final step to ensure the accuracy of your answer. And finally, double-check mode settings like degree versus radian before solving the problem. Now, when it comes to preparing for the Praxis 5003, it's important to remember that no formulas are going to be provided on test day. This means you have to be comfortable with elementary level math formulas and concepts. Here are the critical formulas you should memorize and practice using. Feel free to pause this part of the video to note them down. 
take time to practice solving problems with these formulas so that you're confident using them on test day. Now I have some really important information on ETS rules about making notes and writing anything down during your test. If you're taking your test in person at a testing center, make sure you request scrap paper from your proctor and don't attempt to bring in your own. You also need to return the scrap paper to the proctor at the end of the test. If the proctor sees you taking your own paper out of your pocket or doesn't think you've returned all the scrap paper at the end, you may get accused of cheating and your score will be invalidated. If you're taking the test at home on your own computer, you cannot take notes on regular paper and you'll be asked to erase all notes in view of the proctor at the end of the test. To take notes at home, ETS says you can use a small dry erase board with a marker. You won't be allowed to start the test if you're trying to use a regular sheet of paper. All right, now let's dive a little deeper into the content that you'll see on test day. The Praxis 5003 is divided into three main categories, each with roughly the same number of questions with the same scoring weight. You'll remember, the first section is numbers and operations. This tests your understanding of things like place value, fractions, and decimals. It'll also have questions on operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And expect questions on comparing numbers, performing multi-step arithmetic, and understanding number properties like prime and composite numbers. The second section is algebraic thinking. Here you'll get questions involving patterns, relationships, and basic algebraic concepts. Be ready to analyze and create equations, identify properties of operations, and solve word problems that require algebraic reasoning. And the final category combines geometry and measurement along with statistics and probability. The geometry and measurement portion includes questions on shapes, angles, perimeter, area, volume, and units of measure. You'll also see problems that test your ability to apply geometric concepts in real-world scenarios, like teaching students how to measure objects or interpret data from a grid. The statistics and probability portion includes questions on data interpretation, probability, and basic statistical concepts. Expect to have to analyze charts, graphs, and tables and answer questions about mean, median, mode, and range. Check out our Practice 5003 playlist for videos that walk you through authentic practice problems along with step-by-step -step solutions and testing strategies. Okay, I know this is a lot, but stick with me just a little longer. Let's talk about preparing for the Practice 5003. It's going to require a targeted approach, which brings me to my sixth strategy tip. Take a full-length practice test early in your prep. This identifies your strengths and pinpoints areas you need to work on. Think of it as your roadmap for focused studying. Here's a bonus tip. If a full-length test feels too daunting, consider checking out Study.com's diagnostic quizzes. Study.com has customized quizzes for each Praxis test code to analyze your performance and create a personalized study plan. Finally, regardless how or where you're practicing, try to practice like it's a real test. Stick to your time limits and limit yourself to the resources that you'll have available on test day. Remember, preparation isn't just about learning the content. It's also about mastering test-taking strategies and building the confidence to succeed on test day. And that's it, your ultimate guide to conquering the Praxis 5003 elementary math exam. For more detailed practice, strategies, and walkthroughs, check out our Practice 5003 playlist here on YouTube, and then make your way over to study.com and check out one of our practice test prep courses. Our users boast a 92% pass rate, and our courses include full-length exams, hundreds of practice questions, and additional video lessons specifically tailored to the latest test updates. With our resources, you'll know exactly what to expect on test day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more updates on Praxis exams and leave your questions and success stories in the comments below. Remember, we're rooting for you every step of the way. You've got this.